shut down of telling them anything. So, yeah. I'll drop the parent subject and try to talk about something else. Yeah. It is not... not fun dealing with it at all. They're always like, oh, you spend too much time playing video games. Oh, you never go outside. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I made a whole fucking dessert today. And, like, I was going to make apple crumble as well after doing stuff. And I was going to make dinner. Like, yes, I don't go outside that much. But, like, I do try to go outside and stand outside for a good few minutes to... I, I'm, I'm pasty as fuck, but like, uh, I do try to go outside every once in a while, and just, I'm not an outdoors person anymore, and there is reasons for it, there has, shit has happened in my life that kind of made me no longer want to be outside that much, and melissophobia is part of it, melissophobia is a phobia of bees, by the way, um, yeah, um, there's gonna be a large- wait, no, I can't even s cut out the large-ass section of me being depressed because I talk and it actually has important stuff that's in the game, so fuck. <sighs> Whatever. I do imminent. need food. Calorie intake immediately. Uh, food. Yeah. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, because I ate like a whole bunch of lantern fruit and like. <gasps> lantern fruit is a good thing to have in the base. <sighs> okay. I found. I found where a cave system is. Uh, so basically now I'm gonna try to go to the alien structure and get that, mm. I wonder what peep, uh, peeper would taste like. Yeah, I kind of wonder. I know it tastes fishy. That's for sure. It definitely would taste fishy, but like, what kind of fishy? Because there's different fishy tastes. I wish I had the modification station. Like, in general. Like, the one that's for the Seamoth, so then I can change the colors and all that. And give it a name. You know, I never gave it a, a name to the second Seamoth. I never gave a name to the Seamoth that died. Something smells fishy about how to cut. No. <laughs> oh, jeez. I know Cheesy's playing Among Us today. I don't remember what mod he's playing. But I hope it's working today because he's had a lot of internet issues and I feel really bad. I want to eat a chip. Mm. Yep. I'll give a name to the second Seamoth. The second Seamoth name is Deuce. Cave system right here. Ah. Yeah, I know. I do hope it's a uh, ton of us. Yeah, probably. It's rare when he actually plays normal Among Us now.
Which I don't blame them. They played a lot of normal Among Us. And these mods of Town of Us and, um, like, all the mods, they add a different ability to the game that can definitely be more fun. It changes up the game in a way. Um, that can be interesting. Um. pair it with yeah that would be kind of cool too because it's kind of funny listening to them talk to each other in proxy chat Do you have poppables in the, in America? Um, the chips, they're Lay's poppables, and they're like one of my favorite chips. Cheesy would run away screaming from chilled. Yeah, that's for sure. He'd run away screaming for a lot of people, though, too. So they're like, they look kind of like waff, uh, waffle fries. Hey, children, Carl. Yeah, that's for sure. He'd definitely run away from those three. And maybe Z. I've never heard this song before, and I like it. And the vocals with it is really nice. It's really me melodic and it works well with the beat. to bring food in game I have food right now I'm chewing on chips Captain Lucky sails the depths of the deep dark, yeah, deep dark bottomless open ocean. I really don't mind the ocean at all. I don't like dealing with jellyfish. Jellyfish aren't fun to deal with. Now. I don't know the entrance to that cave. Hmm. 
Do you think a diamond would be here? I don't see one. It does need a lot of pressure, but they also tend to grow near heat, too. Not grow. Form near heat. I need to find the sea, that uh, dead sea. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Because I know they spawn in game, they spawn near lava vents. Mm hmm. Magnetite, at least, for sure. But that's what I don't, I don't need that at the moment. Mm hmm. Where? Like, is it in uh, above this place or below this place at the very least? Mm. Oh, have I found the entrance? No, I have not. Very sad. Really? They're on the gun island? Huh. Okay, I really have to fix my seam off. finding some there. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need the exact location. It's better. It's fun. It's more fun just to find it by yourself, but it's also nice to have hints when you're actually really just can't find anything. Um. That's why I don't mind, uh, like, for certain games, when I really want to get a certain ending, or, like, a certain completion, I'll look for a walkthrough, and just look on the walkthroughs for that specific thing, and then put the walkthrough away. I wonder if there's a different entrance for this, or did I just completely miss the entrance? That was down. Ooh, actually, there might be an entrance down here. Yeah. Like, I'll check certain things to make sure that I'm on track to get the thing I want or, like, stuff like that. And, oh. That funness. Okay, so it's straight down below here. I need to also look for copper. So. Passing 200 meters. Wait, that's not... Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. I would very much like a reinforced dive suit. <laughs> It's very dark.
I see the water. I see the water texture. Is that an island? Is that the island? I think. Yes, I fixed the, the aurora, so it's not gonna explode now. I don't know what island I'm at. Is this a for island? Well, I know it's not the gun island. I think this is the first island. I just hear jingles. Jingle, jingle, jingle. That's a... Uh, attack of bubble food. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> okay, this is definitely the Degasi Island. So, I gotta go the opposite direction. Okay. I wonder what's jingling. You know, I don't crescent anything else. I'm just like, what's that jingling? <laughs> Wise nine yesterday. I I enjoyed that. So I did some trophy collecting, and I'm going to do another trophy thing today. This is gonna take me a couple weeks. Well, not a week. It probably is gonna take me a week, cause it's Nightmare New Game Plus. I gotta beat the game, and I gotta collect all the trophies, do all the quests, cause I failed one quest, so I didn't get that one. Um, and then. What else? Um, get all the monsters. Oh, look. There's, uh, there's one. Um. Get all that stuff and, uh. Yeah. Be pretty good. Better peachy. Peachy peachy. Ba 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 ba. Mm. Those games look cool. The wise games that I've been talking about, yeah, I I enjoy them a lot. Mm. They have decent art. The ones I've been playing, and the story is actually really good. Mm. Wise origin. Uh, wise origin. What? Okay, give me a moment. What? I don't know what she said. <sighs> give me a moment. I'm gonna get food and actually eat food. It shouldn't take me long to eat. I'm very sorry to the people that have just randomly come in. It is six o'clock so I do actually need to eat. I'll be right back. It usually takes me at most ten minutes.
All right. I'm back. May or may not have just snapped at my mother. <sighs> oh, wrong way. Yeah, um, I really enjoy the wise gate. The story is pretty good. And, uh, I like the art too. You can see the time of when they were made. Because, like, the art reflects what was capable of the consoles at the time too. Nine's the newest one. And has some pretty decent art. And I didn't have many issues. Like, I didn't find any real glitches. Okay, where am I? <sighs> um... Wise, uh... Memories is probably the oldest. No, wait. The oldest is Wise on the PS4 that you can get. The oldest is Wise Origin because that came out in 2004 ish, the original version. Then uh, it'd definitely be Wise Memories because that's a remaster remake of the of an original game that was made and then it's eight and then nine teen seeds and the upper seeds so we well it's the best way you can't deny that it's the best way to find out where the heck you are just eat yourself into the sky um but uh so it's wise memory of what you can get on the ps4 it's Wise Origins, Wise Memories, Wise 8, and then Wise 9. Um, there are technically 10 in total? Yeah. 10 total games right now. Ow. <laughs> I, I won't, yeah. Uh, I, I, it's my favorite thing to do. Oh look, Bobo Cheese. Oh great, there's enemies too. Okay. No, back off. Back off. <gasps> Ow. Back off. Back off. Sea moth abuse. I think I was abused by the sea moth. I somehow have not scanned the mobile trees before. Anyways, let's look for diamond. <clears throat> yeah, I tend to just get mad at them. Back off. Bad. Bad. It's the uh, the game in Wise... Wise Origins, Wise Memories, uh, Wise 8 and Wise 9 is an action entry an action RPG type because you it's not turn based style attacks yeah. I threaten them with my knife yeah um the game's not turn based style attacks uh you actively go after them it's really fun propulsion can I took out the battery for the propulsion cannon to be able to get the sea moth <laughs> so uh I do not have that at the moment I don't even have a battery I need to use this as a light. I don't even have a flashlight right now. No. Back off. Bad. Bad. Yeah. Well, what can I do? Because I couldn't find any copper wire, and I was not going to look for copper wire at the time. I really need a battery charger. Uh. Bird. No! Those things are so hard to scan! Mm, diamond. I'll find you, Diamond.
They're just crab trying to give you a hug. Mm. No! Cave. Him. So yeah, I'd uh, the wise game. If you want to have a fun, like I'd recommend them definitely. I enjoy them a lot. I am going to be playing the others soon, as soon as I got my PC. Because I have already bought them all for the PC. <gasps> no. Back off. I like to live, please. Why does it sound like I'm in a cave? I'm not in a cave. And I also need this. Oh look, a tablet. Whisper's addicted. Hmm. At least go outside on occasion. But like, I'm also still a fucking pale bastard. So I'd prefer staying inside. Truth, there's never been a game series that actually has made me play all the games out except for Devil May Cry so far. So that's 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 saying something. Inside is nice, yes it is. so fast. That's definitely a warper. That's not great. Yep, it's gonna attack me. Outside of island. Yeah.
Ooh, there's stuff. Ow. God damn it. Me coughing. There's the warp gate. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I have to find a lot of batteries. efficiency greatly decreased. Ow. Around here. Yes, these likely will have diamonds. Hurts, but they need this. Ow. Nope. Gold. Oh, I found gold. Remember the Got it. You are the property of the old Terra Corporation. You mm. will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. Fuck. I'd rather, I really rather would stay here after the infection's gone. After hearing you have a bill of 3 million credits, why would you want to go back? <laughs> That's the real question. Hey, look! It's the docking bay. Quote Yukon, silver and gold, silver and gold, yeah. I still, I would not, I would not, if I heard my bill was three million credits, I would not go home. I'd be like, yeah, no, I'd, fuck this, I'm staying here. Especially if you have a nice base. If you made a nice home, 
got all the things you need. Just racking up that credit. Because in the end, don't you owe like a trillion credit or something? I think you owe like a trillion credit or something. This is like one, uh, 2.1 trillion dollars credit or something. This is like, I would not want to go home. <laughs> Cause this is like I'm trying to survive, but you're billing me for everything I had to use to survive. Get an aquarium and a shallow equals free sushi. Yes. Um, I just need to find the alien containment thing. Some unholy amount. Yeah, it was a lot. I remember that. It's just like I'd be 100%. Yeah, nope. I'm not going. Bye, bye. I'm not not leaving. <laughs> I'd rather stay here. Send the wreck, send the rocket off with, with a note saying, "Planet, planet here, uh, I'm not coming home." Bonus points, leave the gun on so no one can bother you. Yes! <laughs> this is my island now. I wish I knew how to make arrow dough. I don't know how to make arrow dough. But soon I can make a prawn suit. Okay, what do I need to make the laser cutter? I know I need the, the sulfur. Mm, battery, titanium, sulfur. I have everything but the battery, so that means I gotta go on an ore hunt. That's great. Deep. Yee. Yeah. Okay, time for an ore hunt. I should probably take the sea wasp with me so I have air. So that I don't have to return to the surface anytime soon. I like that little glitch. That's a very useful glitch. All systems online. I need two diamonds? Fuck. No. Well, I still need to find the copper anyways. Uh. Oh well. What's with the secondary deeper habitat? Um, that is literally the only place I can have the, uh, water purifier. I can't have the water purifier higher for some reason. And it's a little annoying. I tried to put it everywhere in the base, but the, um, but it wouldn't work. So I decided just to try the a lower base and it works. So, I have a lower base that's literally just for water. Yeah, it is. It was really weird. Nah! Welcome aboard, Captain. But, like, I always hit the weird things. I distinctly remember having up 
a ground the same area as you. Yeah, no. It's just my luck. It's like just doesn't like me. Frick. Is this covered in blood? No, that's just markings. I was just like, that looks like blood. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Fuck you, tiger plant. Fuck you. That's not even the right thing. There. I now have copper ore. I need more copper ore, honestly. Because I need to make a new laser cutter. I don't know if I'm going to get any more people. But like. And this is dead. Great. I would like to have more people. This, before I send people over to Cheesy. And then again. I'm probably going to stream for like another. 20 minutes. Maybe like one more person will jump on. And then it's not just going to be me, you and. A possible lurker. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ba ba ba. At least, like, most of the time, I've had, like, I think my average today was like four. Yeah, I've had a nice stream. I might stream tomorrow because tomorrow's Victoria Day for Canada. And uh, I'm not really doing much. I might go outside, but aside from that, like, I'm not doing much. I might actually play Wise Origin. Because. I'm not joking, when I'm saying my plan is actually playing Wise 8, uh, Nightmare New Game Plus, uh, for the 24 hour, because it's a story driven game, uh, I won't have to do any grinding, uh, because I'm already high enough level. The only grinding I need to do was be forced fights and to get so certain achievements, which is just to have max skills. So, like, honestly, it would be probably one of the better nists for it because no grinding. Um, it's like a 60 hour game, uh, normal playthrough. So, like, this is probably going to be a fairly long playthrough itself. Because I can't change games <laughs> in the current state I'm at. So, yeah. Which is nice. Um,. I will eventually have, like, a computer, and then I could actually change games when I'm on the computer, on playing computer games, but, like, I can't play change games when I'm on a PS4, because I don't have an Elgato at the moment. Elgato's costs a lot, for one, and two, my stream setup, uh, is not a usable one. Uh, you've seen some of my art streams, which I haven't done in a while because my computer's super bad right now. <laughs> Ow! What hit me? The stupid tiger plant again? Was. Ow. Elgato's big expensive, yeah. That's why I'd only get the Elgato if, if I somehow, which I'm not even aiming for it, I'm just saying if I somehow, somehow become partner 
that would be the only way I'd buy myself an Elgato. Because, like, this isn't a bad setup. It just means I can't stream any, uh, when I get a Switch. I can't stream Switch games, but, like, whatever. That will just be my personal console. Where, like, I just play Switch games for myself. And that's it. Ow, oh, what did I hit? I hit a fish. I hit a walk. Switch, good console. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. I thought, it's, like, it's, it's a decent console for what it does, which is, um, a console that you can both take on the go and also use as, uh, an actual console on a TV. So, like, it's a decent console, for sure. Uh, I might, I don't know if I'm gonna wait for the Switch Pro to come out, or I'm just... I'm gonna wait until November, probably, and like save up money for other things, because I want to get my tattoo, and uh, soon, hopefully, soon, things will open up again in Ontario, so I can actually get this as, this as a tattoo, because I've just had it as ink on my hand for like six months, and it will honestly be too weird to not have it on my hand anymore. <laughs> Pro would be nice, yeah. So, I'm getting a game that I really want, um, that will be fun for me to play on the go, uh, whenever I need to, which probably won't be a lot. I do, I'm usually the one driving nowadays. Well, unless I'm going to work with my father. Uh, I'm not driving then. Anyways, um, but, like, uh, there's stuff I can do. Uh, see, let's go over here. Um, so just wait to see and all that. There's a few games I kind of want on the Switch. There's not a lot. Like, I think in total it's not even five. Pokemons? Um, the new one, yes. Uh, Sword and Shield, probably not. Um, I did not enjoy... Like, the, the new Diamond and Pearl one, I might get. Uh, Sword and Shield... Probably not. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon XD, uh, Rescue Team XD, DX, I mean, uh, yes, I will be getting that. Uh, so, makes sense, uh, cause I love the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Okay, I have a lot of ore now. Do I have a lot of mushrooms? I don't think I have a lot of mushrooms. It does make me sad that I need one more diamond. Ugh. That makes me so sad. I can put stuff in this planter! It's so good. X. I don't know if you're talking about my mess up where I actually call it XD, or if you're talking about. Um. If you're talking about, uh. Uh, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I think you're talking about the Mystery Dungeon. Probably the Mystery Dungeon. Uh, I played the original. Um, the original of it on the DS. Um, I loved it. That's how it got me into the Mystery Dungeon series. Uh, but, like, uh, I lost it. Actually, no, I did lose it. Okay, yes. I thought... Okay, it's what I thought. But, like... <laughs> Um, but anyways, uh, okay, I did too, yeah, um, I lost my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team when I was younger, I don't know where it went, I was actually so upset, I cried, <laughs> cause I beat the game and everything, I was so sad, I got all the way to the farthest dungeon, it was the most upsetting thing, it, I don't even know if it was wor what was worse. Um, so, back in the day when uh, Time and Darkness was first, I got Darkness, um, and I also have Time. I had Darkness with Saddles and Emnia in a case in my DS holder. I was literally left, I left uh, for like 
a few minutes because I was called away by someone else and I had to go do it. I went, I went to uh, go deal with that. And so what happened was this little brat child that was the grandchild of the babysitter I was at took the games and threw them somewhere. I never found them. I lost about a hundred dollars worth of games and I was so pissed because not only did I know the cost of that those games I also lost two completed save files with fully evolved Pokemon and with every side quest done everything done I was so pissed I would I would uh, I did want to strangle the kid like I wanted to strangle that kid it was so aggravating like she she didn't even say sorry or even like try to help me find it or anything she's just like you know you shouldn't have left it there it's just like i had to leave suddenly to go deal with something i didn't even leave for five i didn't even leave for like 10 minutes and it was gone that kid had been staring at my shit the entire time you should prevent the theft of other people's property when you're there. Like, it wasn't even something you'd miss. I knew right away, and I was pissed. It was so aggravating. Oh, look, the little flower's growing. Uh, I need more bladderfish because I don't have any water. Actually, no, I have bubble fruit. Bubble trees. It's also night, so I'm gonna sleep after I eat the bubble trees. Yeah, I know. It, it like it's not it's just so so upsetting. And like aside from other children, like my brother and some other kids there, I got no sympathy by anyone. And it made it worse. And like no joke. That kid was a total fucking brat. Because I could not win in the situation. Anything he did was good. Like, it, like anything, even if I scolded him, like, I'd get in trouble. Because, like, what happened once was he literally threw sand in my face. And, like, the reason I didn't react was because one time before, I actually did act out before and told him no, and I got in trouble. It's just like, fucking double sand. Yes! That was the kind of shit I had to put up through in childhood. Like, yes, they had a literally nice backyard with a giant ass playset. But like, seriously, that kid, you shouldn't... Ugh. This is like the reason why I'd never treat a child that I have the way that people are treating their children now. Oh god, like, you would... Uh, let's just say... Um... <laughs> my child, if I have ever have a child, they're not gonna be treated like I will... I was, or like, how, uh, or treated as, like, completely good, or like, oh, they could never do anything wrong. It's just like, no. Children can do things wrong. You teach them right from wrong. <sighs> it's just like, oh my god. It's so annoying. Like, I've had so many experiences that are total, utter bullshit. Now I gotta find another diamond, so it's back to that island. Got in. I am now getting joy from... Wait, I need more mushrooms. Because uh, I just remembered looking at that symbol. I don't have a uh, working uh, power thing. There's a happy medium between nurturing and also just disciplinary. Yeah, there is. And a lot of people don't know that that medium is anymore. And it's so upsetting.
Because there's there's a hundred percent a medium between doing shrooms, yeah. Um, there's a hundred percent a medium between uh, a disciplining a child and uh, nurturing a child. And discipline is necessary to properly teach a person right from wrong. You can't not teach them. Uh, you can't not teach them with discipline. It is impossible because then they'll become conceited and like have a whole bunch of other things. It's just next to impossible not to teach something without proper discipline. But there's also a point where there's too much discipline. And if you do too much discipline, it's also negative. And it's, it's just a very fine balance that very few people actually know how to deal with. And is very hard to balance. I think I need more copper. Um, yeah, I'm not a parent, but like I do understand that that difficult line, and some people just aren't trying it. Having back, <laughs> yeah, having flashbacks to both kinds of people, yeah, it's it's something I've seen a lot, and I've dealt with a lot, and I also have babysat children when I was younger. Um. I'm like, I'm, when, when they're very young, you do need to be a little more on the child because that's when they learn the most, but you also need to teach them good and bad. So you need, they need to know when there's bad, like there's a degree of what you do and there's a degree of what you not do and stuff like that. I'm not a parent, so I don't know everything, but like, I understand that kind of mentality. I want to swim under the legs. I want to... Got it. No. I missed. There we go. Okay, time for the diamond. Systems online. Woo! Okay, this island. This way. This way! 